Trying to complete an activity in Destiny 2 is tough if you don't know what's going on. In today's video, we're going to dive into the Sundial, the Season of Dawn's main activity, and break down its different encounters. Let's get started. The Sundial is divided up into encounters that fill up a progress bar. Once that bar is filled, you fight a boss. Depending on how efficiently your team moves through the encounters, that determines how fast you'll be done. The first encounter is called Ascent, and it's always the same. Your objective? Kill everything. Since every encounter has a rally flag at the start, don't be afraid to use your super and heavy ammo to clear out the enemies. Once you're done, move on to the Sundial's main room, and one of three encounters will be selected for you at random. One of the possible encounters you'll face is Data Mine. Your objective? Capture and defend. Stand on the points to increase your progress. Around the area, Scion commanders will spawn periodically and they halt your progress. They have bubble shields that cannot be broken, but you can go inside the shield and punch or shoot them in the face. After enough progress is made, a boss will spawn, kill it, then move on to the next two capture points and repeat the process. As time passes, more and stronger enemies will spawn. Another possibility is Gate Crash. Your objective? Kill and deposit. At the start, three arc-charged minotaurs will spawn. Once they die, they drop their balls, and it's your job to take their balls to a deposit point. Once all three balls are in, a Cabal boss will spawn. Kill it, then repeat the process. The first wave is relatively easy, but subsequent waves have more and stronger enemies, so make sure to protect the ball carrier and clear enemies for them. The last possible encounter is Bombardment. Your objective? Secure, break, and kill. A shielded boss is in the center of the arena. You have to kill the glowing Ordnance Centurions and pick up their balls. Throw their balls at the boss to damage and eventually break their shield. Kill the boss, then repeat the process. Subsequent waves have more and stronger enemies, so be ready for a challenge. The final boss is simple but hectic. Nerul the Hollow Voice has a segmented health bar. Each time his health bar reaches a breakpoint, he summons Scion commanders that shield him. These are the same Scions from the Data Mine encounter. Find them, get inside their bubbles, and punch them in the face. Once they're dead, you can damage the boss again, and as you repeat this process, more waves of enemies will spawn, and they get stronger every time, just like with the other encounters. And there we go, that's gonna do it for a quick overview of the Sundial and its current three encounters. I don't know if Bungie is going to add more encounters as the weeks go on, but so far I'm very happy with the way this plays. It's a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying grinding for all the new armor and weapons. I'm gonna be grinding this place for a long time. So with all of that said, there is plenty more coming, but if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel more than you already do just by watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. As always, the name of the game is Destiny 2, the name of the channel is iblueairjgr. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.